Now, listen, you guys, it seems like Nicki Minaj might actually sell out faster than the Transformer for her latest set of tickets, whilst the Transformers' own tickets have been out for the longest of time. And uh, we're going to be talking about Karisha speaking on the City Girls. And, well, Summer Gem, what is happening, you guys? It seems like it's becoming a joke, and Kanye West is being accused of the unthinkable. Now, these are some of the things that we will be discussing in this video. Hello, tea lovers, and... And welcome to the tea plug i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you are doing great personally i am doing great you guys i am doing extremely amazing and uh without further ado let us dive straight into today's team so first of all you guys let us talk about these tickets okay you guys do know that well the transformer reportedly is actually going to be headlining um you know bet the bet experience and uh, it does seem like well the tickets went on sale back then in april beginning of april and it seems like there is no motion in as far as the tickets are getting purchased so she will be performing on june 28th and uh, at the crypto arena okay so now that is the same arena that also Nicki minaj is going to be performing at um you know on september 21st okay so it does seem like at this point you guys Nicki minaj might actually be able to sell out those tickets faster than the transformer mind you this uh um, you know, Nicki Minaj tickets have only been on sale, I don't know, for less than what? Do, do you get what I'm saying? So now imagine, you guys, the audacity of people thinking that these people have got the same amount of influence. Because this is an entire BET experience. This is an entire, um, you know, BET event. Okay? So now imagine a, a like a solo show being able to sell out faster than that. Oh my God. And this is all Joe Biden is out there still trying to force us uh, to think that she's relevant and things like that. Oh my goodness. Let me know you guys in the comment section, obviously, what you think about this. Do you think that they, you know, there is going to be some motion in as far as the tickets are concerned? Or do you think that they, they might end up resorting to Bongo 2's, um, you know, tactics of basically giving away free tickets and things like that? And what, what have they done to BET, honestly? I don't feel bad for them, okay? Because they were literally at the forefront of the H train trying to replace the original with fake stuff. Now, here you go. Here you have it, okay? <laughs> here you have your events failing to sell out, okay? And I, I, that's their karma. I am not sorry for them, okay? Speaking about events that are flopping, it does seem like Summer Gem also is facing its own kind of karma because you guys do know that, well, it's the infamous platform that had those women who stood there, you know, holding a eulogy and whatever for Nicki Minaj okay so that's the same yes 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 okay it does seem like people are like we're not going to be coming um you know to summer gym anymore when method men went there to perform it seems like he did not like what he saw but this is what we keep talking about the more these people try to dilute hip-hop the more it becomes less fun because there's nothing fun in a rap because rapping does not like it doesn't require much of vocal skill it's mostly about your pen it's mostly about artistry in and in, in, in like in the sense of poetry so now when you say that that artistry is not necessary what then becomes necessary in the craft and where summer gem is at right now that's where hip-hop is going to be if people continue pushing people that do not have talent claiming oh they've got a good team method men had this to say about um you know summer gem they said not our crowd at all thanks again new york and the whole tri-state that showed up to the event plus pete and ibro i got love for you guys but never again at this point the generation gap is just too wide for me hashtag never coming back okay so basically method man did not like the crowd did not like how was how he was getting received by the crowd why because you know the new crowd would rather listen to you know i spice versus um in a method made the new crowd would rather listen to miss red versus you know talented people okay and this is um you know the new crowd that they basically bred at summer gym and you guys want us to still take you seriously i hope ibro really does sit down and realizes that you know what it, it's done for okay what they have been trying to do over the year by diluting you know opening these uh, gates for people who are not talented this is where it has gotten them at this point both bet and summer gym 
are just on some clown stuff. They are a joke at this point. And I wish I could say that I feel bad for them, but genuinely, I don't. Okay, this is what you get. The karma is coming back to bite you. One cannot sell tickets. The other one has legends refusing to perform there. Why don't you call on Remy? Why don't you call on those you know, female rappers who came together in unity to headline that? Huh? The the non beta female rappers, the you know, the united female rappers, why didn't they call them at summer gym? <laughs> the next thing that we are gonna be talking about, you guys, it does seem like um Karisha is out there talking about the city girls and what went wrong with their last album. Because you guys do know that well their previous album did not do well at all. It actually did embarrassingly bad, okay? So it seems like Karisha was being mature about it and she basically said that well the reason that um you know that album did not do well was even that uh the the rollout was also all over the place because she claims that well the two of them, Jetavia and her, they were were in different um you know spaces um in as far as life is concerned and i totally agree with karisha and everything that she said do you understand what i'm saying at some point jt cared about the craft and at some point um karisha really did see herself as the quote-unquote black opera <laughs> oh, karisha is just slow you guys why would somebody call herself the black opera oh my god anyway she said that well at some point she really wanted to be you know the black opera because of that entire Carisha please thing of hers so obviously they were in different spaces at some point she wanted to just get the bag uh, by any means whether it meant being used um you know to be urinated on she did not mind that okay that's the space that she was in and I do think that maybe JT was not messing with that space and with JT's attitude I don't think she would be the one smiling when somebody else is peeing at, at, at her okay she strikes me as somebody who has uh, some sort of pride, you know, those people that are just so confident and that just keep their pride. Like you may have a lot of money, but what you're not going to do is urinate on top of my head. And um, what I'm also not going to do is to sit on, on a podcast and brag about it. Okay. That's the vibe that I get from Jetavia. On the other hand, I don't think that Karisha really does mind. Um, you know, as long as somebody has money, they can get away with anything in as far as she's concerned. So they were definitely in different, um, you know, spaces, but I love that she was, you know, very, very classy about it not throwing any shade and things like that and i love that for her like when you look at her as well you can just tell, tell that she's just so sad she's in a sad place she looks so sad ah poor thing let me know in the comment section you guys what you think about that um the next thing that we are going to be talking about, you guys, we're going to be talking about, um, you know, Kanye West. Yeah, let's talk about Kanye West now that we just spoke about the Diddler's mistress. There are allegations that are coming out there about this man, okay? There's a person who is suing him for doing the unthinkable things. So now it does seem like there might be yet another expose in Hollywood. And at this stretch, 2024, it seems like it's going to be an eventful year and i read through everything that this girl was accusing the man of doing and i'm sorry you guys to tell you this but listen i do believe that uh, for some reason i i cannot believe what the girl was uh, was saying because it's insane and you do know that insane insanity is you know synonymous to 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 kanye west do you understand as as soon as i saw how crazy the things were i was like yeah probably yeah yeah, that's very believable that a man like that could actually do stuff like that, okay? So, honestly speaking, I cannot wait to see who's next, okay? I know that everybody else is waiting to see um, if there's anything that's going to come out about this man. And some people are accusing that, well, that particular man, you know who I'm talking about, you know who, the man from Bot Nation? Yes, that man. Uh, people are saying that, well, maybe he is responsible for the exposés that are happening to uh, these black men, okay? So, so yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think about that. But what I do know that if is um you know if Kanye is actually going down, yeah, he's not going down alone. That's one thing that I can tell you about Yeezy. <laughs> Chances are he will still you will start spilling any and everything. Trust me. So maybe they might actually help him console that in the fear of also getting exposed because yeah, really does look like the kind of guy like when caught doing something will literally snitch on everybody. He will. 
but in this case i mean i'm not mad at him for snitching okay expose each other because all these um unimaginable things that these people are doing i pray they snitch on each other i pray they turn on each other okay so that they all can face their fate in as far as um you know the dirty deeds that are being done okay um uh, the next thing that we are going to be talking about it does seem like the transformer is insinuating that uh, she might actually respond to um you know to beer okay and this came after people were making uh fun of her illiteracy okay and you do know that well a lot of people really be talking about her being illiterate but they like to make it seem like people are laughing at her accent and it's not even the accent it's the amount of illiteracy okay and so people are there defending saying that oh well at, at at what point um you know do these um transformer jokes become the other word and things like that just making her the victim as usual Note that I was surprised. And so she came on the internet and she was like, Wow, thank you very much for defending me. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like no it's not even the other word like how can you say that she is uh being discriminated against on um you know on the basis of that word when in actuality people are just like okay go learn some words okay for you to be a rapper and come out here and not know basic grammar is insane to me like you're literally a rapper that's what you're supposed to be showing so i'm like if you can't even enunciate because the thing is, you don't write, okay, fine, we got it. At least make an effort to enunciate those words, okay? Because that's your job. But no, you don't want to do anything. You want people to sympathize with you. So then she went ahead to tell, you know, this person that, oh my goodness, go make me a beggar or something. Basically, you know, talking down upon that person, saying that, well, she has more money than that person. Because, you know, with her, her only clear beggars have good money. But I'm like, is the money making you happy? Because you're coming here on the internet acting bitter and salty all the time. So maybe that money is not even making you happy like that, okay? <laughs> so she clapped back at this guy and was like, oh, well, go make me a sandwich or something and then um you know she also said oh let me go to the studio and things like that and i'm like oh you're going to the studio with who is buddy back you guys from jamaica is it back from jamaica with jada okay because i'm like in the studio to respond to beer or in the studio to do yet another feature that nobody asked you for yet another feature that you probably begged for like what are you going to the studio to do so yeah let me know in the comment section you guys do you think that she's going to have the audacity to respond to Bia, or do you think that like always it's just going to be you know excuses excuses and excuses okay uh i also forgot to mention you guys i know that they are fans of Nicki minaj and ariana and people were wondering over the years oh my goodness are the two of them still cool and things like that and you do know that people were also talking about um you know the moment that ariana was performing and Nicki minaj was sort of seemingly giving her a standing ovation well it does seem like when she was performing side uh, to side um at a tour it seems like Nicki minaj took her time to shout out ariana grande and say that oh well i would like to you know shout out ariana grande we love ariana grande so it does seem like everything is just so well in their camp yeah let me know in the comment section you guys what you think about that are you here for Nikki Anna in 2024? And you do know that there have been rumors in the streets that, well, there is going to be yet another Nicki Minaj album. And some people are even speculating that it's going to be strictly hip hop and it will have iconic features. OK, so are you ready for yet another album from Nicki Minaj? Personally, she can keep giving us music all day, every day. OK. Oh my God, I could never have enough, all right? Um, thank you very much, you guys, for watching. And thank you very much for making it this far. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified each and every time that I post. I post each and every single day and I keep you updated on what is happening in the celebrity world on Instagram, on Twitter, and about all things trending. Now, we are on the road to 14,000 subscribers. So if this is not your first time here, it means you're probably enjoying the com content or maybe you're here to you know to defend your favorites which is allowed okay it's definitely allowed um as long as you're not bringing kids in um you know while you're eight it is while you're at it as long as you're still being a human being absolutely it's allowed to come here drag me if you like i will be there in the comment section literally waiting for you so yeah do the right thing and just hit that subscribe button okay so that when the premiere starts 
I will be there in the, you know, in the live chat. And, you know, we, we can have a little back and forth if really that's what you're looking for. <laughs> Until my next time, you guys, see you.